All right, so let's record this video again. Last time, um, the microphone was off. So I got XE1 and XE2. XE1 has X trans 1 sensor, XE2 has X trans 2 sensor. Now, these two sensors are very special uh, in Fujifilm range of sensors because these two sensors are going to provide you the best Fuji look. There is no other sensor. Uh, from Fujifilm, including X, X Trans 3, X Trans 4, and X Trans 5, which is going to provide you that magical JPEG, you know, juice, <laughs> if that's a thing. Um, I have used a lot of Fujifilm cameras and I've sold a few, and uh, even I listed my XE1, but uh, I haven't replied back to anyone yet. Um, because I'm changing my mind, I think I'm not gonna sell it. Um, it's 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 a very capable camera. Anyway, let's talk about the JPEGs. So first of all, JPEGs are not straight out of the camera. Straight out of the camera file is a raw file. Now, these cameras have to do the processing, um, and they process the raw file differently. Uh, the JPEGs coming out from Extends one sensor will will have this soft look. Um, there will be more information available in the shadows, whereas Extends two sensor is going to crush the shadows. It, what I mean is this that the photos will be more contrasty, um, and uh, there'll be more uh, like dark shadows, like the blacks will be deeper. Um, and the colors will have more luminance. The colors, the colors are different um, from both of these sensors. So then, though I don't know why people are saying that X Trans One files look very similar to X Trans Two. In my personal experience, it's not. It's not true. It's not the case. Now, X Trans Two sensor is also lucky because uh, Fujifilm, and, uh, when Fujifilm introduced this sensor with um, Face Detect Autofocus System, which is um, which is of course faster than the contrast detect autofocus system available in X-Trans One cameras. So that's a that's a, 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 a bonus, I think. If you can afford both of these cameras, just buy both of them. You're going to love these cameras for their uh, JPEGs, like the, the, their files, um, the colors. X-Trans Two cameras also have this this film simulation called Classic Chrome. Uh, which I think you're going to enjoy. Um, going to love the colors for sure. But uh, again, um, for everyday for everyday usage, X Trans One cameras are very capable. They're very good. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, I think the X Trans One sensor is going to suit a mature photographer uh, who who doesn't like the contrasty look to the photos uh, whereas uh, x trans 2 cameras are going to suit someone who is more active on social media and uh, th that that kind of person is going to enjoy the x trans 2 sensors because the photos are of course more punchier um, um, by punchy i mean they're, they have more contrast the deep shadows and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much it um, you can have a look at the comparison uh, between X Trans 2 uh, JPEGs and X Trans 1 JPEGs and see which one you like. Um, again, if you can afford both of these cameras, just buy both of them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much from my side. And make sure you're subscribing to the channel and uh, liking this video. This is definitely going to give me some motivation to produce more content. And, um, if you can find one of these, just buy them. Because you you really have to you really have to feel the camera in your hand, um, and and you have to use this, these cameras to find out what um, people are talking about. Even if you have an XT5, XPro3, and you're looking for a second camera, just and if you see one on Facebook Marketplace or eBay at a reasonable price, then go 
buy the camera use it if you don't like it just sell it off these cameras are retaining their value very good um they're not losing their value so yeah i mean that's pretty much it enjoy your time enjoy the photos see you in the next one